So many players create fake lag in the downswing. It's one of the biggest killers for your ball striking and consistency. So in this collaboration with top coach Alex Riggs, we show you how to get that real tour lag that everyone wants and is going to level up your ball striking like you wouldn't believe. Let's get into it. Okay, Riggsy, so for that one there, a big part of the reason that that shot came out nicely was because of this position here, just prior to impact, right? right? We see majority of professionals would get themselves into a spot where their hands would be in front of the trail leg. They would create a shaft which is level with the ground and the hands are in front of the chest. Yes. Now moving down as my body continues to push forward and rotate, that allows us to get a descending blow on lots of power. Yes. But we see a lot of players down at the range and in our online lessons trying to achieve that through doing this number here, right? <laughs> the old change of direction very quickly, pulling yes. the arms down into yes. a, a spot. Now, you'll get a lot of players, they go, well, isn't this pretty much the same? Look how short my trail arm is. That just this looks golf, painful. It, yeah, it, I'll tell you what, I'm not gonna hold it for very much longer. <laughs> and then from here, good luck hitting the ball. We are exactly. three feet away from where we need to be. Hello, Hazel. Yeah, exactly. So let's talk about those players, number one, uh, what you have seen when players have been working on trying to achieve this just prior to impact position that a lot of players are wanting yep. to get into for the good ball striking, and then your ways of explaining and rectifying uh, this misconception. Perfect. Yeah, I think that a lot of amateur golfers are seeing that, that image, that club parallel coming down image, and they're going, I'm gonna get there by forcing a feeling from the top of my backswing. Yeah. And they're just going to start that movement by pulling their arms. A lot of the times it's this obsession of getting that trail elbow to pass the belly button. Oh yeah. And it's yeah, like, okay, right. there we go. We've got lag for days there, but there's Lead absolutely, wrist. there's no chance you're ever gonna hit the golf ball solidly from there. I think I'd miss you because it would hit my camera <laughs> if I went from there. Exactly. So we're not pulling down our arms as such. We're not yanking the chain. We're not dragging our trail elbow in front. Sure, that might be a feel that's worked for players in the past yeah. and professionals. Uh, but if we were going to break this down into a simplistic way for the players at home where they can't really get it wrong, yes, what would you say that they should do in terms of being able to shallow the golf club correctly to achieve this downswing position? Yes. Well, we actually just finished shooting a video talking about some very necessary components of a good backswing that'll keep the arms in front of us and avoid the arms working too far behind us. Mm -hmm. So certainly getting into a top of backswing position whereby we have our arms in front of our torso enough. Yep. We've created enough rotation through the center of the body. This is going to give you the best possible chance of getting into that spot in terms of what the backswing needs to look like. Yeah. Yeah. As we start looking into downswing movements, if you go back to that top of backswing position, when players have this obsession over pulling the golf club towards them, okay, having that trail elbow work back towards that belly button, what we're going to see in so many instances is this extremely narrow arm structure. Yeah. Yeah, very much so. So arm structure, really at the end of the day, is referring to, let's say, the midpoint of the hands from the face on point view uh, in relationship to the shoulder. Yes. Right, so this would be the widest, this would be the narrowest, and don't get me wrong, there is an element of uh, wide to narrow in the golf swing, but it's done through the wrists. Yes. And having a trail arm which is stable and not bouncing and pulling into us. Yes. Yeah. How do we work on that? So what we want to understand is the way that we load into our trail arm, think of it as how much we have bent through this elbow. Mm -hmm. I want players to learn to keep that relatively the same as they start their movement into their downswing, which means that their power is going to have to come from a lot more of what they're doing down here. Yeah. Instead of taking those arms and pulling the handle directly towards the golf ball, they need to start creating their power with how they shift into their lead side. Mm. That trail elbow isn't going to change its flexion all that much. Yeah, correct. Uh, as we move back, let's say it's in a long structured position here, we pivot to the top, we would see that players would max out probably 90 degrees at yeah, the top here. good reference. And then from there, as they would transition in this fluid motion, the trail arm would begin to unload and lengthen past. Yes. And through into this position where it would actually get straight. Now, one of the easiest ways to essentially work on 
connecting the dots there rather than trying to micromanage would actually probably just be to swing to the top, use that as a reference and go, can I get my arms long and extended by this section of the yeah, swing, the follow through? Exactly. Would you agree? Exactly. Okay, so let's work that together. So this feels really good. Now, as I do get to that follow through position rigs, kind of give me a checkpoint that they could use at home. What I want you to do from right here, I want you to feel the first thing is you getting pressure into that left foot. Mm -hmm. As soon as you get that pressure, you're going to find that your arms are going to work back in front of your chest. Yeah. And from there, it is all about extension. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. And that's actually going to be the next video that we do as well on how and why this is such an important component of the golf swing to control the club face. Yes. But let's put this all together and nut one down there, mate. I'm really going to focus on ensuring that I'm not pulling my arm into my belly button like so many players are doing. Slow and controlled, making sure it is stable up the top, coasting down towards the target, getting the feeling of extension on the way through. Okay, let's put it together. Butter. About time, I felt great. <laughs>